Virtual Pets have been around since I was a kid, with simple electronic Tamagotchis or maybe a more advanced game on the PC. While Cosmo isn't sold as a virtual pet per se, it's easy to see the similarities to what many, like myself, have adored for decades now, and how this is truly the next evolution of the concept as a whole. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and this is our review of Anki's Cosmo and the new Code Lab update. Enki's specialization in hybrid toys that bridge the gap between the virtual and physical worlds is pretty apparent. While other products like Overdrive showcase what's possible when virtual meets physical, Enki's work on the artificial intelligence side truly comes to life in Cosmo, a lovable little robot pet that's sure to win your heart. Cosmo's design is simple. Treads on the bottom give it freedom of movement, while the arm up front gives it a way to interact with the world around. Up top is a set of color-changing LEDs, as well as a speaker for outputting its voice. On the front is the tilting head with a small screen that normally displays a pair of adorable eyes but can be used for pretty much anything. Cosmo's movements are quick and organic feeling, and the personality just oozes from all 300 parts inside. Cosmo has been drop tested for durability, according to Anki, and I can certainly attest to that. My four-year-old son has loved playing with Cosmo these past couple of weeks, and all of his friends have been delighted to interact with Cosmo during that time as well. Children of this age are notoriously rough with toys, though, and I cringed quite a few times when Cosmo would drop many feet onto the wood or tile floor, get shaken up or even tossed by someone, and yet it's still here, functioning and looking as as good as ever. There are a few scuffs on Cosmo's face, but outside of that you'd never really know it's been so roughly handled. Taking care of Cosmo in more standard terms is pretty simple. After a brief initial charge, Cosmo will connect to your Android or iOS powered phone via the aptly named Cosmo app. Cosmo connects via Wi-Fi Direct, not Bluetooth, and I found that performance could vary wildly depending on the phone you used. While most phones I tested worked just fine, a few phones would exhibit laggy behavior on Cosmo's end, as the voice and all the personality is actually delivered via your phone, as Cosmo is basically just a computational puppet that works based off what the app tells it to do. Cosmo will generally last about an hour and a half on one full charge, and take about half an hour to charge back up. This is good since it relies on your phone having enough battery to power the experience too, and would certainly be a crutch depending on how well you might keep up with charging your phone throughout the day. Cosmo has basic needs like any pet, real or virtual, which includes tuning up, feeding, and playing. Simple colored bars right on the home screen let you know what it needs the most, and different modes of interaction will fill these bars back up as they drain throughout the day. Feeding and tuning up are short little fillers that are more to teach basic care to children, but games and code lab sections are where the real meat of the experience lies. Enki originally shipped Cosmo with around a dozen different play modes, most of which involve the three power cubes that are included in the box alongside Cosmo. These cubes have their own internal batteries that last an extremely long amount of time, and in the few months we've had Cosmo haven't had to be charged once. They automatically connect with Cosmo and the app on your phone without any interaction, and Cosmo will use these to interact with you during several games. Memory games, similar to the color memory game Simon, will have you matching up colors in competition with Cosmo, while other games like Keep Away will have you trying to fool Cosmo by teasing him with a cube and seeing who can react first. Aside from these types of games, Cosmo will also roam around and find things to do, like stacking blocks, pouncing on your finger, or even talking to you in basic ways. Thanks to the VGA camera up front, Cosmo is able to recognize faces and learn names, and will even speak your name once you teach it. This extends to other household pets like cats and dogs, where Anki has programmed several routines into Cosmo to interact with them differently. Code Lab is the most recent update to Cosmo, sent out a little over a month ago in December, and is quite possibly one of the greatest updates to ever hit a product like this. Aside from simply extending the number of games and activities that you'll be able to do with Cosmo, Enki has opened up their custom visual programming language for each of these games, allowing you to see exactly how each one is programmed, and even make remix versions of each for yourself. Fledgling coders will delight in the ease of dropping in visual programming blocks, which contains simple syntax for understanding programming basics without needing to learn exact commands. Color-coded blocks and separate sections allow for more complex games and activities to be made, and Anki is adding more every single month with a published schedule of what's coming right inside the app. This type of visual programming is certainly becoming popular among these types of hybrid toys, and it's proving to be a brilliant way to teach young coders how to build for even bigger programming languages in the future. While you won't be stepping straight out of this and moving on to Java or C, it definitely builds important basics that you need to know. There's even dozens of challenges to help spark creativity and further the learning experience, 
all of which create seemingly limitless possibilities of what Cosmo can do. It's an absolutely brilliant toy, and while it's certainly not cheap at around 170 bucks, it at least includes everything you need in the box and has the potential to be the gateway for kids to learn programming at that important early age and prove to be an even better educational toy than when it launched. We hope you enjoyed that review and will subscribe to us for regularly updated content. Chat with us in your favorite social media network and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 tech news coverage. Thanks for watching and until next time.